I am Michelle Grove Herzog, and I was involved with EELS in 2008 and 2009. I was the founder or kind of leading the project and um, held that role those two years. My name is Jake Bridges. I was involved with EELS in 2020, 2021 uh, school year, so right in the middle of the COVID years. Um, I started out as a programming uh, coordinator and then I moved up to become programming director for our year uh, for the online symposium. My name is Allery Clark. I did a panel uh, last year and then I did one a few years ago. Hi, my name is Stephen Dawson. I, I was the executive chair, as it was called back then, of the Emerging Arts Leaders Symposium back in the 2012-2013. Hi everybody, my name is Sarah Scott, and I was the co-director for marketing and communications for EELS last year. My name is Zach Hayhurst. Uh, I was in EELS in 2010-11, and I was the chair of the executive planning committee that year. I have my own consulting firm, uh, Zog Arts Consulting, where I do I say field forward work, which is realized through grant making and professional development primarily, as well as some other facilitation and board work. And then I uh, lead the arts administration program, which is a minor at the University of Arizona for undergraduates. Right now, I'm the senior marketing manager uh, for theater and international programs at the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts here in Washington, D.C. I still live in D.C. Um, because I absolutely love this city. Um, and right now I serve as the Arts Learning Coordinator at the D.C. Commission on Arts and Humanities. I'm in San Francisco, working for San Francisco Opera as their Artistic Planning Manager. You know, in coming up with EELS and starting EELS, it was really about impact on the field and the community. There are no other conferences and or symposia or uh, seminars or anything that um, that are readily available and affordable that focus on arts management specifically uh, and the various aspects of arts management for early career um, emerging leaders uh, in, in, in the arts management field. I'm grateful to EELS. Uh, it's where I learned an important trait, how to be comfortable building a plane while it's flying. It's something that I do a lot now. EELS gave me a chance to take what we were learning in the classroom and put it into a real world application. It was my chance to introduce myself professionally to a lot of folks uh, in the, the real world, if you will, and to um, kind of build something from the ground up. I've been on the panel um, last year. Um, it was really fun. Um, and it was just a full circle moment for me, you know, to be in that same auditorium and hearing so many um, professional speak and you know being with a professor that was there when i was there it was just a full circle moment in retrospect not at the moment but in retrospect all the <laughs> the weekends sitting in the uh the, the the lounge room upstairs planning having all these discussions with my with my team looking back on it it was a really great bonding experience with everyone challenging but worth it. I was going to say community and innovation. I think it's opportunity. Congratulations, Eels. Uh, again, 16 years, just amazing. Here's to the next 16.